guys and girls. Uh, my name is Lynn. If you're new to my channel, I just want to say thank you for coming. If you already been here, what's up, my people? Uh, <laughs> so, I was going to do a get ready with me while I recorded a get ready with me before work. But then when I realized after I've done it, I literally did the same eyeshadow look that I did in my very first video. So, we about to just switch it around with the get ready with me for tonight and just redo this so i'm at the gummy little baby wipes with the wipe this off and we're just gonna be talking okay so what i want to talk about now right now youtube because this was really on my mind lately i thought once i got on and i put like a few videos out i was going to have at least like a hundred thousand followers i know yeah i'm just joking but i thought you know i would have had something or I don't know. I just didn't know how it really worked. Even though I don't mind having my 13 followers. I love all 13 of y'all. But it's like, yeah. But it's just like, you know, it's kind of hard to add more me to get followers. Like, I don't know, like, what I should do or what, like, path I should go. But being myself, of course, being myself. But it's just that, I don't know. It's like, I don't want to do clickbait because I just feel like that's not me. I can't do that. But, I really didn't want to do, like, no talk through or nothing like that. But then I realized I love to talk. Y'all gonna love me. I'm gonna make you love me. And that's how we gonna do I it. Love you, I love you too, babe. But, um, I don't know. I just feel like it's really hard work and it's really dedication. And I'm just glad that I'm doing it now than when I originally wanted to do it back in, like, 2012. Because, like, I had, like, I mean, I was watching you. Ooh, something in my eye. I was like watching YouTube back then, but it was like I really wanted to be on there. But I just felt like I was so, I mean, I was young, of course. I was like freshman year of college. So I was like more focused on like how my friends going to feel, what people going to say about me, or is they going to like me, or da 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 da. But I feel like, you know, I'm grown now. And it's like, I really don't care. It's either you going to like me for what I am or who I am, or you're not. Ain't no in between, you know? I feel like. I don't know. So, I feel like if you're, like, really true to yourself, then I feel like I'll go a long way with this. But it's all with hard work and dedication. And I got the tribe. So, I'm going on to the next one. So, y'all, we're going to start on this eyeshadow. So, hopefully, I do something different. Because your girl loved doing the little natural colors with the blue under the eyes. Well, actually, I started doing that, like, this year. With the, well, last year with the blue. I ain't really was into colors, but... I'm trying to be a makeup artist on the side, so hey, I'm gonna have to learn just a little bit. But you know, like these last few oh, months, yeah. I actually do like Come putting on, color on my eyes. So y'all know, we gotta talk about it. Gotta talk about that Pusha T and Drake baby. And it's like, Make it work. Make I'm it. here for it. I am here for it. You here for it? Oh, tell me oh, down wow. in the comments. Because I feel like, I'm trying, I wish we can get back to like the battle like rapping it. and stuff like that. Like oh, well, you told me it was going to be quiet. Oh, my bad. <sighs> you guys, help me out. Help me I'm out. I'm sorry, baby. I ain't going to talk no more. It's a halftime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I hope it ain't going broken, though. Hope y'all for the rest of the season. Okay, so with the Drake and the Pusha T, I'm here for it. Like I said, I am here for it. I feel like Drake need this karma, karma or whatever, you know, because you know Meek had a he had that L for like a whole year and a half. She, back in like I think it was like 16, but yeah, he back to back L double L triple L like. He had L's all year. Summer, spring, fall, winter, all that. Alright, I back all right you guys, back to the video. I kinda already kinda blended it out. I'm gonna add some more to this one. But alright, back to Drake. You know, I just feel like like with this new generation, they be like really like downplaying people. I just feel like it doesn't matter like when you came out or whatever. If you still have good music, you should still do it. Don't stop because somebody else tell you to stop. Okay? You do what you want to do. You live your dream and you live your life how you want to do it. Forget the haters because guess what they are? 
haters. I just feel like with that, they be like, you know, in the comments, like, oh, he a has been, or he's this, he's that. But it's like, one thing, a good rap is good rap. It's like, they are so used to, like, you're not listening to real rap. You're so, like, blinded by what's always, like, getting, like, fed to you on TV that you don't appreciate real rappers. And Pusha T, I'll push a T is a real rapper, you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm not gonna say he's one of my favorites, cause I do like Drake, I do like Pusha T, but they're not my favorites. He's just a good lyricist to me. And a good writer, hello. People these days, they're so ruthless. Like, get a man a shot. It's like, he been out here, so he know how to sell. He know how to market. I just feel like, you know, they just went a little bit too far with the little album cover. But, you know, it's just each his own because I feel like most people who love Whitney are not he go is not here for that um background picture because I'm really not here for it. And I just feel like Kanye is really like doing the most. But I feel like with this um battle rap, I mean with this little beef going on, or whatever. Cause I'm like you can't really call it beef. Because they are not really beef. I just feel like this is just good music coming out right now. This is really what's going to sell. You know, people love drama. People love beef. People love being nosy. So, of course, they're going to make money off of this. But, you know, I just feel like this is a good um, battle. I just feel like with Drake, he got to come on or go on. So, I feel like, you know, Drake might hold the L this year. But, Drake has a lot of fans. So, of course, he's not going to take no L. But, hmm, you're taking the L from me. Okay. I'm joking. I ain't going to be like, in this case. <laughs> Cause that, that shit is so aggravating. But anyways, I just feel like with Drake, he gon' he good. But at the end of the day, he still have to take that L. Because I'm sorry. You waited to, like, how many days and you finally like said something and it's only because of that black face picture i just feel like with that is like you know it's how you use it it's how you can manipulate people because the bigger story for it i understand but just showing just those few pictures it really can make change your eye i mean it can really change how people view you, you know? And it's like, most people don't read the whole story or anything, because, you know, everybody loves the gossip. They want to go for the tea. So I just feel like with that part, you know, Drake, I'm sorry. You're going to take this L. But, um, I don't know. I just feel like with Drake, he just need to come get with his little um, writing team. They make them a list song. Because I don't feel like he's going to really... Ooh, excuse me. I don't think he's gonna go back and forth with um Pusha T. I just feel like he's gonna come out with one of those little dance songs or whatever, cause he's really becoming like more of a a pop star. Really more. I feel like, you know, when he used to rap, you know, he had little singing, but I just feel like now, now he's becoming a pop artist. But that's why I feel like he don't like try to go after that, and then people gonna forget this, cause knowing people. They will forget. Only thing I don't feel like they're gonna forget is like his baby mama. Cause shit, I ain't forget. Oh yeah, I feel like with this, this is really gonna be like swept under the rug whenever Drake come out with a song. Cause if he ain't coming back with like no back to back, I ain't here for it. You better just come out with a little another shoot, shoot, so whatever the song. Cause get your lip hop song and you'll be good. Cause I'm sorry to tell y'all this, Drake is taking it L this year. And it's only karma. I just feel like when you, you know, you feeling too hot, feeling yourself a little bit, they always got that one person to come help you bring you back down. And I feel like this was going to happen with him. Yeah, this is my first time doing purple. But hopefully, come on right, I'll be looking like my last video, my little knees. But yeah, I love like I love what Pusha T doing because he's no he's showing you like that. Oh yeah, no no no, that's what I want to talk about. So <laughs> let's just go into it. I think that stuff is hella funny about Drake with his baby mama, and it's like 
I don't understand. Like, how can you really? I just feel like it's not authentic since I already did this video, you guys. But anyway, I don't understand how all these famous rappers, ball players, all of them, they always mess with the same female. Like, y'all really just like recycle. Like, that shit is really crazy. And it's like, I'm just, I don't like understand how most of them don't have like no type of diseases. If you, they probably did, just don't want us to know. But it's like. <laughs> Y'all really recycling people. I feel like Chris Brown bring them in. Everybody just you, same women. And it's like, it is crazy. It's like, you can't find no wife in a hoe. You cannot turn a hoe into no housewife. And I just feel like, I uh, don't think I like that. I'm a little bit up right up. But it's like, I just feel like you can't turn a hoe into no housewife. I just don't understand why they are. Let's see. But yeah, it's just like, and then it's like, it's strippers. It's porn stars. Like, I mean, it's like, I don't have nothing against them. Stripper-wise, I don't have nothing against them. You know, you make your money, do what you do. But it's like the same thing as porn stars, prostitution. And it's like, y'all really fucking these females. And it's like, then you want to get mad and cry wolf when they get pregnant. You want to do an abortion because you don't want nobody to know. But it's like... No, and this how these women be living good because you know I understand they keep their mouth closed. They don't like to talk. They make sure they keep a hush, 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 so the wife or the girlfriends don't find out. But it's like, what the fuck? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Girl, you kidding me? Y'all, I do not think I like this. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know. I, I love look good rap battles, but it's like, I feel like most people being very sensitive. Like, I don't understand how people are so sensitive in this day and age. Y'all be talking all that stuff on one social media, but you know, I just feel like most people are very sensitive this day and age. It's like, how can you try to cry now about, you know, People digging up your truth or, you know, his daddy, t I think that's his daddy or whoever, uh, commented yesterday about Wendy Williams and all that. I just don't feel like, like, how y'all so butthurt now, but when he was talking about Kid Cudi and his mental illness, y'all ain't say nothing. It's like, you know, it was all good and dandy because he was doing it. But it's like, you know, you have to realize karma is a bitch and she is two times bigger than you can ever be. And it's like, you have to realize whatever you put in this world is going to come back to you. And it's not going to come back as easy as you thought it would be. It come back two times harder. So, you know, you just got to do right. But it's like, really, I feel like, you know, sometimes things can be low blow. It, but it's like, once you do it first, it's no hoes bar. But, you know, I understand you don't fight fire with fire. But, you know, they doing innocent rap. They just making songs. It's, you know, it's not like the 90s. They not going to be doing no shootouts and none of that. And honestly, I just feel like Drake really not about that life when I really think about it. It's like, woo, whoop de doo Like, when you first came out as a rapper, I'm not even going to talk about when he was on Degrassi. Okay. But it's like, when you first came out as a rapper, you, weren't, you were talking about being in love and all this. So, you know... All other stuff. You wasn't doing like no gangster stuff or none of like shooting off, you know, whatever, whatever. It was always a feel good song, make women feel good about themselves or, you know, just think about things or whatever. But it's like now you you hard, like after your beef with Chris Brown, I feel like it. But, you know, I just feel like, you know, he had to give him a little tips how to, you know, do what it do. But mm -hmm. I just do not know you guys. I do not know, I do not know, I do not know. I don't know, this is kind of cute. Yeah, baby, you look so sexy. Do I? Yeah, you should let me do it one day. <laughs> Y'all heard it first from him, not I. So if you would like to see that, just give me a comment below and let me know. So yeah, I just think Drake gonna hold that L this year with Deb. Sorry. I just feel like people have to, these trolls really have to like, 
I don't know, but this new generation, I don't know if they be eating too much Thai Pods or whatever, or snorting something, because they are just too much. They y'all really out of hand. Like, really out of hand. It's like, y'all really could be on the people's comments, like, kill yourself, I hope you shoot yourself, I hope you you and your this, you fall off the river, oh, fall off the river. like, you know, <laughs> you know, they just come up with random shit, you know what I mean? So, it's just that, I just feel like, they understand the pressure and the things they really do to people. Because at the end of the day, celebrities are just humans. They're just humans. They are just like us. They cry like we cry. They bleed like we bleed. They're just like us. Oh, look into the glow of that forehead. Anyways, I feel like they're just like us. So it's like... You said you young. Brighten up the um, pink right here. It's purple. Well, purple. You want me to use yellow? Yeah. Well... Man, it'll bring out your, your... Right here? No, baby. Like, like, like right there. Right here? Yeah, like in the middle. Yeah. Cause you, you never like know. know. What, right you never here? Know. Yeah, you never know. Babe, I don't want to put that right here. You might like it. Baby, you can't even see it. I know you can't. It blend in with the mother two cups. Mmm. Mmm. Now tell me I ain't the shit. <laughs> tell me I ain't the shit. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my husband is colorblind, so I, you know, I ain't case myself. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. I cannot trust you. You can't sit here and tell me you don't like that. I don't. Okay. I'm joking, baby. I, can't, I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys. With me, I really don't really too much care for like always wearing foundation and all that stuff. I normally love get do my little eyes, do my little eyebrows, some eyeshadow, some lipstick, and some eyeliner. Probably some lips. I would talk to y'all, but in my video that I was going to post in replace of this one, I messed up my eye, uh, eyeliner because I talk, like I was just saying like with this, it's kind of really tedious. So So I just wanted to, you know, do my first get ready with me. Just do a little chit chat with you guys. And I don't know. I think I actually do like this look now. I just like felt like earlier. I don't know. It was just like a little bit team like too much for me. So you guys, I just want to thank you if you like this look. Let your girl know, you know. Do a like, comment, subscribe. And I just want to say thank you all. And have a great night because your girl about to change and we about to go out.